changes and they don't even realize that how what a big accomplishment is to save myself from a terminal brain cancer they just so overwhelmed about the weight loss <laughs> they, they're not, oh my god yeah by the way i'm like i lot i mean i cured myself from brain cancer people just don't really get that yeah so any I, words you have to say to people who do have cancer or people have a terminal illness what's your uh don't panic. Don't panic. You have time. I mean, you, did, you didn't create the cancer in one overnight, so you have time. And don't that let the doctors bully into you to, all you have to do, start chemo and radiation right away. Do your research. Trust no one but yourself. Listen to your gut. And you can get take ideas, like I came to Arnold and he showed me all about the raw vegan lifestyle. But most importantly, listen to your gut and trust yourself. And believe in God because we are all in His hands. But do everything but humanly possible that help yourself. What did the doctors tell you? The doctors gave me six months to live and they said my health is gonna go downhill really fast and I just gonna come back, running back, begging them to give me chemo and radiation. <laughs> and I said no way. But actually they were telling me the truth. They said there is no cure and they said we chemo and radiation, they're going to try to prolong my life within two, three years. And I said, no, thank you. I mean, that two, three years, if, even if I lived that long with chemo and radiation, it would have been hell. I mean, I would have been bedridden, like, at least two and a half years out of the three. You would lost your hair. I know, and I would feel miserable. And you feel and, miserable. Yeah, and all the side effects. And, and all the side effects. And right now, my only side effect with this lifestyle that I lost 80 pounds. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you feel unhappy. I'm extremely happy. Extremely happy. Extremely. That is really the key. Yeah, this is the key. Yeah, you can get depressed because people, I mean, doctors tell you that, oh, you have cancer. It's a terrible thing to hear. I mean, nobody, I don't wish anybody to go through what I've been through. But it's, there is a life um, on, after a cancer diagnosis. I mean, actually, terminal brain cancer diagnosis saved my life. Because this was, I think, I'm thinking about my diagnosis, not as a death sentence, but a terminal brain cancer diagnosis actually saved my life. Because I started, I changed everything in my life and I started to live a very conscious, healthy living. And that's gonna be my book title actually when my book comes out, that how terminal brain cancer saved my life, something like that. Uh, how can people reach you? Um, I'm on Facebook under Marta's Journey, my name. Wow. Yeah. And then I'm going to do some YouTube videos, but it's still in process. But I will, and my, when my book is out, I'm going to have my own website. And I really feel like that this is my calling now to, to help people and help give them hope. Yay. They, they, my story has to get out there. Yes. Yeah. Any parting words? You're leaving in another 40 minutes. <laughs> I know. I'm going back to New York, and then tomorrow I'm flying home to Hungary. Uh, and it was so nice to see Arnold. And thank you, everybody, who came out last night and, and listened to my story. It was really great to see everybody and catch up with you. Anyway, live from Arnold's Way, we've got so many people just freaking walked in. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Are these all, all with you? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just want to say a few words and not really. Not right now. Okay. We'll say bye. Bye.